in this lesson guys I will show you why this software is very very powerful so this is an example I created don't worry about that and how I created it because I will show you how I created that step by step so actually guys if I go I if I double click in the container you will see here I have bunch of notes so say for example after you created the cup and you typed coffee on it so say you changed your mind and you want to type T for example so you don't have to remodel the cup again and do the text again and do the boolean operation again to change the coffee you simply go to the container and I will go to the font and I will type T okay so after I typed T every then all the nodes will be updated and change the T uh, text so that's why I love this software guys it's really really very very powerful really very powerful so as you see I didn't do anything just I changed the font and Houdini updated all the nodes and that's why the, it called procedural software okay so I will show you how I created the uh, cup so I will delete the object and and guys if you hold space and hit H on the keyboard space and H you can frame the notes okay the same thing in the viewport if you hold space and H you can frame the scene or space and G if you select the spotlight for example and hit space and G you can frame the object and the, the grid space and G or space and H okay so actually guys I will delete the grid and spotlight too so let's create the cup I will show you how I created that so I will click on the curve you see here and here guys you see I have some attributes these attributes you see here it's the same like this one if I go inside and select the curve you see here I have the same attributes or the same functions so I will change the primitive type from polygon to nerves as you see here change to so I will go to front view by holding space and B on the keyboard and then I will place the mouse in the front view and I will hit again space and B to dive inside the front view so actually guys now I will create the curve so I will click one here to create the first point and the second point and this is the third point and if I want to snap the last point to the center of the grid I just can go to this icon and click it to enable the snapping on the grid so now if I get closer to the grid as you see the point snaps to the center of the grid so I will click the last point after you finish guy, guys you hit enter on the keyboard to confirm to confirm the curve so now guys if you go to your perspective view I will hold space again and B and I will go to perspective view okay so now guys if you want to change the points you can you can dive inside and here make sure you click on this icon or right click and choose points so now I will choose the move tool and now I can select the points and adjust the curve we forgot to disable the, um, uh, the uncheck the snapping to the grid okay so now I can change the curve okay so after I change the points guys you see here Houdini added another node which is edit node so say for example you adjusted the curve in any shape you want and after that you decided to disable and see the previous curve shape so just simply you can disable the edit node and you will see all your adjustments has gone this, this is another very very powerful way in Houdini 
okay guys you can see i can disable what i did okay so let's add a revolve node to create the cup so i will hit tab here in the network editor and type revolve this is the revolve node and i will move the two circles the render cer the render circle and the viewer circle to the revolve node as you see now we have the cup so now guys i can go to edit this is the edit guys so in order to if you want for example edit the curve and at the same time see the revolve node so what you can do guys is click here let me zoom in so you click here guys it's a template so if i clicked here you see i am seeing the ghost of the revolve node so now i can select the edit node and of course my move tool selected and i can adjust the points and see at the same time the revolve node so i will select uh, this um, point and i will move it to the left a little bit and something like that okay and i will select the, this point and move it up a little bit and to the inside and this one again okay guys okay so now after you finish you can click on the template to remove the template and then click here to show the revolve node okay so let's add a thickness to the cup so i hit tab on the keyboard and type extrude as you see guys here we have the extrude old extrude volume you need to choose poly extrude so i will choose poly extrude and move these circles here to show the result and here you can set the distance of course guys you see here i will set it for example to 0 0.5 or let's set it to 6 okay as you see guys if i go to wireframe mode if i uh, hold the mouse and click here i will choose wireframe as you see we don't have thickness yet we have just extruded the upper area of the cup so in order to see the thickness guys you need to select the poly extrude and scroll down here you see output back so if i click that so now i added thickness for the cup so now again i will hold the left mouse click and go to smooth shaded and now guys let's add the font of the font or the text so i will hit tab on the keyboard and type font so now guys here you see i will change it i will change this one to coffee okay so as you see guys i don't see the font you can click here after you clicked here now you don't see the uh, cup so you can template the cup you by clicking here so now i see the text and the cup at the same time so now i need to change the scale of the font so i will hit tab on the keyboard again and type transform guys this is the transform and then i will scale it and move it as you see guys uh, this is the handle tool and i will move it up a little bit and bring it to the front i think i need to scale it a little bit more okay so now guys we want to project this text on the cup so you can do that by hitting tab again here and type ray so this node guys you can uh, you can project the text on the cup so i will put the font in the first input and the poly extrude on the second input so now i will move the circles here and i will move the i will remove the template now for now so another thing we you can do we need to do is in the method 
you change the type to minimum distance so as you see guys the font projected on the cup after that guys you you come here and then hit tab again and type extrude again so this is poly extrude and then I will click on poly extrude again as you see and here I will set a distance okay something like that so now guys if you want to see both again I will click on the template now guys we want to set a boolean node but the problem is that the text is outside the cup so we need to move the text to the inside a little bit in order to in order uh, we can make a boolean operation we subtract the text from the the cup so i can do that by coming here and then hit tab on the keyboard and type again transform node so i will set a transform and connect it here so i will move the circles here so as you see guys the pivot is not at the center of the uh, coffee so you can hit insert on the keyboard and then now you can move the pivot manually here okay so i move it somewhere here it's okay after you finish you can exit the pivot mode by hitting insert again on the keyboard so now guys my manipulator or my handle is selected my handle tool and i will move it a little bit to the inside okay and another thing guys as you see in the text we didn't fill the cap behind it so it's a hole so i will select the poly extrude and scroll down and output the back okay so now guys on a, there is one more step to do is adding the boolean operation to subtract the coffee from the cup so i will hit tab on the keyboard and type boolean and this is the boolean and i will connect the first node to the first the font to the first input and the second to the poly extrude so now if I show the boolean I will click here and then I will, I will remove the template here I will select the boolean and then here guys you change the operation to subtract and change the A from B to B from A okay so now if I go to the object level guys you see here we have the coffee on the cup so now guys you want to change if you want to change the text you go simply to font and change the text so this is very very powerful way in houdini even you can change the thickness of the cup you can change the curve you can still change the curve and all your nodes will remain and nothing will be distracted okay so this is a very very powerful way in houdini guys so that's why i love this software it's really really great software see you in the next lesson